guide this daughter of my son on the path she is now about to take. Thy blessing upon us. Look down, Hotoke-sama. Give this daughter of mine thy protection. Oh, Hotoke-sama, may I do nothing which will bring dishonor to my departed father's honorable name. Make it possible for me to be of assistance to my illustrious family from now on, even though I'm only a woman. the Honorable Mr. Goro and Madam Goro that your most honorable augustness has arrived. <laughs> oh, do not weep, Mama Sam. But you are so young, and never have you been away from home before. But consider, Mama Sam. Soon I shall be very great geisha. And then you and the august grandfather and the little brother will have much money. This is no place for the daughter of my son, the daughter of a noble samurai. I should never have consented to your coming here. But we must live. And I'm the only one who can work and help. Your father died with honor when he could no longer live with honor. Is it then so shameful to make people happy? To sing for them? To make music and dance? And I may make a fine marriage. Then I can buy you many gifts. So this is Chocho-san. Uh, what distinction? What eyes, what teeth, and uh, you speak also the English? Yes, I learned from visiting scholars. She teach me very high class Brooklyn accent. And no man will be permitted to see her alone? No man, unless of course it is to arrange an advantageous marriage for her. Every night, you will say the little prayer I taught you. Yes, Mama Stan. A new one, Goro. I have not seen her before. May I not meet the honorable young lady? Chocho-san, it is my privilege to present the noble Mr. Yamadori, a gentleman of excessive culture. She is not a joyful one. She is high-born and feels strange in this place. But when she's made ready as a geisha, she will be more gay. Go now, my child. Your girls have improved, Goro. I might even seriously consider a look-at meeting for marriage with such a one. Why not this very night? Very well. Tonight, when I return. <laughs> Be 
caught at the consul's party tonight, dead or alive, drunk or sober. Hey, the consul's giving this party on your account. You know that, don't you? What do you mean, on my account? Well, he figures if he can keep you cornered, the women ought to be safe for the first night anyhow. <laughs> Listen, when I come around, no woman wants to be safe. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Where's your nail file? I don't know. Where's your own nail file? Well, uh, mine's packed. Where's yours? Hey, hey, you won't need these glasses. You're going to be close to everything. Will you put that down and get out of my way? <laughs> Pinky, look. What? Let's you and I duck this consul's party tonight, and I'll show you the sights. And no tourist stuff either. What do you say? You think we can get away with it? Why, sure. Well, it looks as if the consul will have to get along without us. <laughs> now you're saying something. No, 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 I can't use that. I've had my breakfast. What else you got? What else you got? Hey, will you get a load of these bees? What are you going to do with those? Buy myself a neck to hang them on. Yeah, what do you got? Here, that, that's a good gag. I'll take this. You never can tell how hot it might get around here. How much is it? Huh? No? <laughs> Too much. Well, there you are. All I need now is a mama and a canoe. Hey, rickshaw. Come on. Yeah, taxi. Lieutenant Pinkerton. Well, how do you do? I'm Sharp. This is the American Consul. Oh, how do you do, sir? <laughs> this is my friend, Lieutenant Barton, sir. Yeah, how, how do you do? do? Hi, hiya. Well, weren't you in these waters a year or so ago? <laughs> yeah, I guess I was at that. Uh, I thought I remembered you. <laughs> yeah, I rather hoped you wouldn't. He had to get out of bed to get me out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> I knew your father pretty well, Pinkerton. You look exactly like him. Well, he often spoke about you, sir. <laughs> you planning to come to the party tonight? Why, of course, sir. Oh, sure. We wouldn't miss it for anything. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> well, goodbye, gentlemen. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. We'll goodbye. see you. Goodbye. <laughs> you mug, you would have to look like your old man. Come on. See what I have done with her. She should attract the husband as easily as honey attracts a fly. Her appearance is indeed most gratifying, Suzuki. If her conduct approaches the same high level, Yamadori will undoubtedly wish to arrange an immediate marriage. I shall endeavor to do nothing which may prove disappointing. The maid will now take you to the Rose Room. You will wait there for Yamadori. So you're going to be married. That is as the gods may decree. It is undoubtedly what you should try for. A little mouse like you would never make a success as a geisha. If you were an example of a geisha, to be unsuccessful would be no calamity. If I were not a successful geisha, I would not be wearing these. Display is vulgar. If I have any judgment, the men who gave them to you may consider themselves swindled. Come. Here you are. Buy yourself a horse. Oh. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have to anchor the gunboats here. The Willow Room. Two officers. Well, well, greetings, greetings. Well, here we go, boy. Uh-oh. Ah! Hello, sweetheart. Welcome, Excellency. Yeah, the same to you. Y you better get used to this. How are you? Uh, what do your Excellencies desire? Mm, music. Yeah, and girls. Yeah, and uh, dancing. Yeah, and girls. Yeah, and uh, um, girls. How many? 
Well, one's enough for me. Now, let me have three. Say, what do you want three for? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. <clears throat> Madam Peach Blossom for the big lieutenant. Also bamboo shoot, honeybee, and spring grain for the little ambitious one. Oh, thank you. I trust you will find our modest entertainment acceptable. Oh, you must come over and see us sometime. Ah, thank you, thank you. Ah, there are. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I can tell you. We're going to have we're going to have more fun. I think. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, pretty? Okay. Well, take my show. Here we go again. Thank you. Park it, Pinky. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're all there. Hey, good morning. <laughs> hey, crawl right in. Good morning, Yen. Mmm. Ain't that something, huh? That's me, it's here, see? <laughs> yeah, isn't that homey? Huh? Oh, heaven help the sailors on a night like this. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> Is there anything else the excellent officers desire? <laughs> I'll have a piece of pie and a cup of coffee. thousand pardons, but not that one. Be so good as to open the door. Hello. Oh. This is unheard of. Please open at once. The Honorable Yamadori has arrived.
say, don't be scared, I won't bite you. <laughs> Thank you, most honorable sir. Say, I didn't know you spoke English. As exalted American officer, honorable intention for return to tea house. At this moment, all my honorable intentions are getting sort of weak in the knees. How too bad. Weakness of me, very uncomforting. You've no idea. Perhaps I return to tea house for other assistance. Oh, no, no, no. You see, I'd rather not be left alone when I have an attack like this. Oh. What then is to be done? Generally, the best thing to do is walk it off. You don't mind if I use you to lean on. I'm very happy to be such service. Well, if you won't answer the baby doll, what am I going to call you? Chocho -cho San is my name. Chocho -cho San? <laughs> That's cute. What does it mean? How you call in America? Flying butter. Flying butter? Yes. <laughs> no, you mean butterfly. Yes, yes, butterfly. <laughs> That's what I say. What's your name, sir? Mr. B. F. Pinkerton. Mr. B. F. Pinkerton. Oh, that's a very high-sounding name. This? You, Commander, Honorable United States Fleet? Commander? Oh, much more important than that. <laughs> I'm the whole works. Oh. With a little help from the President, I practically run the United States. I'm a lieutenant. Oh. Mr. Lieutenant B. F. Pickerton, the whole works. Here, <laughs> wait a minute. You mustn't do that. What? What wrong, please? Well, well, it's not an American custom. What is American custom, please? Understand. That's very interesting, Custom. <laughs> You're sweet. Hey, Pinky, are you in there? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, stranger. Come on in and join us. Thank you, no. I am here on business. <laughs> yeah, monkey business, I'll bet you. <laughs> the American humor is of remarkable construction. Well, wait a minute, I'll explain it to you. <clears throat> Come with me, I'll need your support. <laughs> yeah, look, here, here's an easy one. <clears throat> Olsen and Greta had been married about five years, see? And <laughs> no, wait, wait, you don't know the answer yet. <clears throat> They've been married about five years, see? So one night, one night, Greta said to Olsen, she said, Oli? Where is she? Is this the way to treat a man of dignity, of culture? A most devastating accident, Your Excellency. A splinter maliciously embedded itself in her dainty hand, and... The handsome officer who took her into the garden has probably removed it by now. So, I might have known. But I did not know she was in the garden, Excellency. 
I will go for her at once. I shall never enter these doors again. I find you a hundred yen. Uh, you let him sue you, baby. I know the judge. <clears throat> Come. Chocho, sir! Oh, I forgot. Butterfly. Shameless one. Your first night here and you run to meet strange men without consulting me. I couldn't help it. He was taken very ill. You make me lose much money. I will send you back to your mother. Your venerable grandfather will die of shame. Hey, what's all the shouting for? This miserable female had chance to make fine marriage and she spoil it with you. It doesn't take much to spoil a marriage around here, does it? Yamadori, my best, my wealthiest client. What a commission I would have made on her marriage. And now it is lost. Go. What's the matter, Pinky? Wait in here. Out. You're unnecessary. Madame Goro's patience is as great as your stupidity. Maybe she will teach you the etiquette of geisha. Look here, Goro. I want to engage her for myself for the evening. That is not possible. She not ordinary geisha. No man permitted alone with her unless he has intention to marry. Yeah, hey, I'll say she's a honey. If it weren't that I disappoint a lot of other girls, I'd marry her myself. What do you mean, marry? Well, you know, but, uh, marry. What's the matter, don't you, Savvy? No. <laughs> Acquaint this guy with the facts of life, will you? To marry, that very usual arrangement. Uh, not with me, it isn't. No, nah, no, you don't catch on. Marriage doesn't mean the same thing to these people that it does to us. What makes it so different? What? Well, all you have to do out here is to sign a marriage contract with the girl's parents, and that's that. Yes, contract most necessary. Yeah, what about when we up anchor? Well, you just leave, that's all. And when you do, the girl is considered divorced. Well, that's pretty tough on the girl, isn't it? <laughs> no. No, not at all. A marriage broker like Goro here gets her a new husband before the old one is halfway down the front steps. My list of wives always popular. Especially beautiful, high-class girl like Chocho san How soon can you get a contract ready? Very soon. But of course, a family must also consent. Well, talk him into it, Goro. Tell him I'm okay. Yeah, he's a good old banana. He comes from a grand bunch. I make all arrangements. I also get house for you. But it will cost you much money to buy a geisha contract I now have with her. And I must pay considerable sum to her exalted family. All right, that's not important. Well, Jojo Sam, you've got yourself a husband after all. Thank you. I try hard to make very fine wife. Mr. Lieutenant B. F. Pickerton, the whole work. Well, what is this? Those are just a few of your new relatives. Look at her. Isn't she lovely? Hey, hey, hold your honorable horses. <laughs> well, you can't even talk to her till after the San Sancudo. 
Same thing, kudo. Yeah, that's the marriage ceremony. That's equivalent to saying I do. Only over in this place, they say it with three cups of sake under their belt instead of a scuttle of champagne. Here's luck. Well, down the hatch. Are they going to stay here all night? Yes, I think so. They are very pleased to be here. Hmm. Will you excuse me a minute? Well, well, after all these years, you haven't changed a bit. Come over here, Bob. Listen. Do me a favor, will you? Get these honorable relatives out of here. Get them out of here where they belong here. What, what'll I tell them? You can't tell them anything when you get them out of here. I feel about as private as a monkey in the zoo. <laughs> you leave it to me, monkey. <laughs> well, uh, good night and thanks awfully. Goddess of peace and mercy, please have some effect upon my so beautiful and so peculiar husband. <laughs> oh. The merciful goddess, she make you come back. Well, she didn't have much of a job on her hands. You don't know how hard you are to stay away from Chocho Sam. I'm so glad. I played you angry with me. And go away. You're a strange little person. If only I make speech in my own language, I could tell you exactly what in my heart. Now, now, Cho Cho Sam. Please don't. Everything's all right. I thank you so much. Mr. Lieutenant B. F. Pickerton. Your husband. My husband. Yes, and how about giving your husband a hug? Hug? Don't they ever hug in Japan? 
Look, when a wife sees her husband after a long absence, what's the first thing she does? Eat. Oh, no, 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 darling. You must never do that to me again. This is a hug. Hug. <laughs> you like it? It's most pleasant. And the next thing is a kiss. Oh, I know that. No, no. I don't mean that. Funny little darling. Don't you know what a kiss is? Kiss? Before kiss, I love you. Now I know I love you for always. Naughty Miss Machichute. Bad Mr. Connecticut Cut. Even if you very special pleasant for Mr. B. F. Pickerton, you know very well no one allowed to sit in that chair except him, my honorable husband, the old works. Their belly become very large. It is the excellent American food. It's more likely those four goldfish that once inhabit this bowl. Please not to speak in such Japanese manner. We must try to talk my honorable husband kind of English. Okay. I go hoopy in big way. Hold everything. You talk very sour, Suzuki. My husband say American house filled with laughter all the time. You must laugh, Suzuki. <laughs> That's great improvement. So many bell I lose come. Must be very late. Honey Suzuki, here he come. He's very happy tonight. He sing very loud. He make big strides. So he must have very big presents for his wife, I think. Why you wait, Suzuki? I have nothing better to do. Go. Recalling the day when we first kissed. <laughs> well, how's everything? Everything okay. <laughs> How are your everything? Couldn't be better. That really strange lump, Mr. B.F. Pickerton. Where you get him all of a sudden? Oh, that, that. Mm. That's my shore leave. Shore leave? Certainly. Oh, yes, yes, yes. If I don't have one of those, I can't get off the ship to see my Jojo Sam. Then why I never noticed him before? Well, as a rule, I leave it down on the dock in a pail of ice water. What for this ice water? Well, you see, a shore leave is a very delicate animal. Yeah. It's sort of a cross between an oyster and a land shark. And if he doesn't get his bucket of ice water every day, he's apt to get annoyed and bite holes in your pocket. Oh. He sound like very destructive creature. May I see him, please? Sure, go ahead. Oh. You make big joke with me like always. So many beautiful presents you always bring me. <laughs>
Hello, Suzuki. You're looking fine. That is so. <laughs> What's all the noise for, Suzuki? She laughed. What at? Just American custom. Laugh at nothing. <laughs> Well, here's looking at you. Down the hatch. Right. Wonder where my pipe cleaners are. Oh, Suzuki used them to wire Reverend Grandmother's hair for a funeral party. So sorry. I'm very bad housekeeper. <laughs> All right, there's an extra package in the top door of my trunk. May I get? Here we are. I found them like this. Oh, thank you very much, Jojo Sam. She really beautiful, that American lady. Oh, oh, I guess she passed in the crowd. She's some lady you know very well. Sure, sure. We've known each other for years. She loves you. Very much, perhaps. Oh, of course not. What this writing say? Over there? That just says lots of luck. Oh. Maybe you very much in love with her. How can I have room in my heart for anyone but Madame Butterfly? Mm. Hello, beautiful. I'm so glad to see you, Honorable Lieutenant Bot. Why, of course you are. All women are. <clears throat> I'm nature in the raw. <laughs> <laughs> nature, very wonderful sometimes. Yeah, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I go tell Suzuki, bring drink in Hudson. Yeah, well, well, your, your English has improved. Oh, yes. I now speak like Ritchie Park Avenue lady. <laughs> Talk very fast. Saying first word coming up in head. <laughs> what do you know about that? That's funny. 
She's as happy as though she didn't know you'd be gone by tomorrow morning. Well, as a matter of fact, I haven't told her yet, Bart. What? <laughs> I didn't have the heart. Oh, I couldn't spoil her last evening. I understand. Make mine a strong one, Butterfly. I'll be right back. Be with you in a moment, Bob. When sufficient is poured, please speak word with stop port. Yeah, whoa! <laughs> Excessively sappy syrup. Oh, thanks. Shrine looked much better that way, don't you think? What did you change it for, Jojo Sam? I don't like old gods so much no more. I like new gods of my honorable husband. What's he been telling you about his god? Oh, very nice thing. His god do not like divorce. He say, marriage made in heaven. He say, continue to be married till death do us part. Mm -hmm. Most people seem to forget that part of it. They do? How that is stupid. That part I never forget. Chocho San, there's one thing your husband has forgotten to tell you. Butterfly. Well, how about paying a little attention to me? <laughs> when he say pay attention like that, it mean he's very hungry. I go tell Suzuki make great speed. Stay on dinner. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's go to the hotel tonight for dinner. What do you say? Oh, I don't know, Bart. Yeah, what do you say, Chocha San? They make swell cocktails. Oh, cocktails! Then I'd be just like a Melican wife. Okay. <laughs> Suzuki! Suzuki! Quick! Boy, I wouldn't be in your shoes tonight for a million dollars. This cocktail have wooden tail feathers, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how it started. <coughs> These Melican whites have very tough throat. <laughs> Don't be silly, it never touches their throat. <laughs> <coughs> hello. Mm. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. There's one of you two chaps has awfully good taste. This is uh, Madam Butterfly, Commander Anderson. Thank you. Oh, sit down. Thanks. No wonder we haven't been seeing anything of you for the last couple of months. Well, that's been a break for you fellas, hasn't it? <laughs> Why don't you come over and join our party? No, thanks. Well, it's nice to have seen you, Commander. Oh, I get you. Last evening together before we shove off, eh? Shovel? That's no word to me. A banker get going. Back to the good old USA. Oh. I understand. Thank you very much. Please don't, Butterfly. I know I should have told you, but I didn't want to spoil our last night. I... 
I beg many pardons. I forget to be good wife. Everything okay? Almost. Now everything is okay. No. You think so. Same as always, too. All right. Long have I waited to hold you and told you, my flower of Japan. You have created a dream world, my dream world, a picture of a fan. You are a perfume, elusive as mist, recalling the day when we first kissed. As time goes on, Anna, baby, I'm for you, adore you. My flower of You'd better not come any further, darling. I want my last thought of you here in this garden. Please don't look like that, butterfly. Come on, say goodbye with a smile. I try. That's it. You... Forget your chosen. The least soon now. Never. Then you not go back to that girl. The girl in the picture. Of course not. You do love me. Not much. Just a little. You're the sweetest thing on earth. Then maybe you come back to me. Of course. Sure? Surest thing you know. Oh, I'm so happy you say that. See, I smile now. When you come back. Oh, I don't know. Oh. In the spring, maybe. When the robin nest again? Yes, that's it. When the robins nest again. Goodbye, butterfly.
Suzuki. Suzuki, come quick. Look, little man. Look up there. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it is a robin. He very skinny one. He is special, extra beautiful bird. You may go. <laughs> Now he build nest, and then quick, as soon as he finish, your papa come home. How he make face of astonishment when he see you. He say, hot dog, how you get hold of that? <laughs> then I whisper so. <laughs> ah, he say, you very clever girl bring me son like that. <laughs> then he say, what's your name? And I say, we call him trouble now. We wait till you come back to call him joy. Now, what do you think of that? <laughs> that sounds like very Japanese reply to me. If so, you get bounced right out from here. No one allowed to speak anything but United States language in this house. <laughs> Oh, look, dear. How odd. Just think of a robin building his nest in the heart of New York. Now spring is really here. What's wrong, Ben? Oh, nothing. There must be something. You know, ever since you've come back from Japan, you're different somehow. Different how? I don't know. Except that ever since we've been kids, we've always told each other everything. But now, for the first time, there's something you'd rather not tell me. And that makes me afraid. Well, there's nothing for you to be afraid of, dear. <laughs> it's silly of me, I suppose. But I do love you, Ben. You know that, don't you? Enough so that I could tell you something that might hurt you? As long as you don't say you've stopped loving me. Oh, nothing like that. Just something I think you ought to know about. Daughter of my son, this cannot go on. It is our wish that you make an immediate marriage with a noble Yamadori. Most venerable grandfather, your wish greatly respect for myself. But how I marry one man when I still marry two others? He has deserted you. Therefore, you are divorced. No, no. You not understand. In this United States, husband not get divorced from wife like here by saying, I go. You go walk yourself back to parents. What can a woman know about such matters? I have all this explained to me by my husband. The Honorable Lieutenant B.F. Pickerton, he say, no one get divorced in United States except he stand before judge for two, three, four, seven years. Very tired. You think it reasonable my husband go to all this trouble? You were married under the laws of our country. These things do not apply to you. But he say, continue to be married till death do us part. If only for the sake of your child, you should do as we request. His honorable father be most angry if he not find us here when he come back. Bring down the wrath of the gods upon your own head if you will, but save your son this misery. We love him, and he should be brought up as befits a samurai. Give him to us. No, no, I cannot. This is his child. Everything in this house belonged to him. His money, his son, his God, and me too. We all belong to him. You have forsaken the traditions of your country. You have forsaken your ancestors and your gods. You have dishonored our name. From now on, the door of my house is forever closed against you. From now on, your mother has no daughter. Mama Sam.
Now we got nobody in the whole world. Except him. So he must come back. This third time, those foolish Japanese robin played trick on us. Maybe United States robin not so domestic and industrious. Edible papa comes soon. <laughs> I go make visit to that very wise American council. Get me ready. Lady wishes to see you, says her name is Mrs. B.F. Pinkerton. Mrs. Pinkerton? That's funny. I thought she was in San Francisco. The show is. Good night. Good night? Oh, excuse me. A little bit rattled, I think. I mean, good morning, I expect. Mm -hmm. What did you say your name was? Me? Oh, I, Mrs. Honorable Lieutenant Benjamin Franklin Pickerton. Oh, I see. You. Very well acquainted with him, I expect. Yes, I expect I am. I got to ask you a very important something, please. Oh, all right, go ahead. You know all about birds? Birds? <laughs> well, I guess I know something about them. Uh, that, that's what I think. That's why your country sends you here. Because you know everything. Oh, not everything. But you know about Robin. Just a little bit of Robin. I guess so. What is it you want to know about? How often do these Robins make nests in your United States? Why? I think not so much as here. Maybe only every three, four years, perhaps. What makes you think that? He say he come back to me when Robin nest again. Japanese Robin nest two, three times since then. And he not come back yet. What do you think? Now that I remember it, in the United States, the robins only nest every three years. Oh, I'm so glad you say that. All right now? Oh, yes. Thank you. I'm very much all right now. You, the most best nice man in all world. Best nice man except. Except. I think now I go pray. Respectfully request my husband God. He remind him come back soon. That's a good idea. Mr. B.F. Pickerton God. Very powerful, very nice. But I think perhaps he not understand my language so well. Maybe it's safer if I pray to God of my ancestors. That's right. Mrs. 
Vincent. Take this radiogram, please. Lieutenant B.F. Pinkerton, United States Fleet, off Yokohama. See me at once upon arrival. That's all. Look down, Hotoka-sama, and listen while I respectfully request thee to make those American robins keep their schedule. Man, laugh. <laughs> that big man, your father, he coming soon. <laughs> See? Same face like that. Yeah. <laughs> Only way up here. First he's surprised when he see you. <laughs> then right away he recognize you his son. <laughs> That's very easy. On account you have exact resemblance to his honorable self. <laughs> Is that not so, Suzuki? I not notice it until you speak. We make his house more gay like it has never been. Go quick, buy many lanterns, much flowers, much everything. What we use for money. How much less have we today than yesterday? This is all that is left. Oh, how we have wasted his beautiful money. Well, we be very American. Spend everything. Ben! Oh, hello, hello. Hello. Oh, I miss you, honey. Oh, it's good to see you, dear. Do you know I beat you by two days? Yeah. yeah I, I was on that boat, too. <laughs> Hello, Bart. How are you? Okay, okay. Isn't this exciting? Oh, exciting? <laughs> I guess you haven't heard that the American consul is giving one of those first-night parties of his. Oh, say, that's what his radiogram must have been about. Yeah, that was it. And don't you two try to back out of it because he's short on wives. Yeah, well, he'll have to go short tonight as far as I'm concerned. I'll see him tomorrow. See you up the hotel, Bart. All right. Goodbye, Bart. All right. Very much nice American lady. Well, well. Hello, old girl. I wondered what had become of you. Oh, how he'd be pleased to find we keep this for him. Mama, da. He's like what his father always said. 100% American. I don't Papa. Yes, yes. Very soon now. <laughs> oh, Suzuki. I tell you what, we play big joke on Honorable Lieutenant V.F. Pickerton. So soon we see him come, you take baby, hide him in next room. Then when I clap, so, you bring him out like magician bring rabbit out from hat. Six bells. That means he come very quick now. Come, Suzuki. We 
watch here. You see him quicker. Chocho-san, the night has passed. You must rest. Soon he will be here. Very soon now. No use to wait any longer. No use to wait. I wait for always. He forget you. He always forget. Suzuki, do not dare to speak like that. I know he will come. He not forget. He not forget. He will come. And Sharpless says she's waited for me all these years and never married again. Don't feel so badly about it, dear. It isn't your fault. I wish I could think that. Pretty much of a mess. It'll all be cleared up as soon as you see her and have a talk with her. I hope so. You don't mind my going to see her, do you, dear? I should mind very much if you didn't. I wonder. I wonder if you'd come along with me. It might be easier if I felt you were nearby. Of course I'll come, darling. I'll wait here for you. Thanks, dear. Oh, my so long absent husband. I knew, I always knew you'd do come back. Come quick inside. Everything just the same as you left, except 
I have a big surprise for you. I can't stay very long. Not stay? Oh, <laughs> you make big joke with me like always. Maybe you forget your shore leave too. Yes? I'm not joking, Chocho San. Is it because your ship, she sailed right away again? You must go? If so, I really sorry, of course. But I wait a little longer till you come back to stay for always. I... I'm never coming back, Jojo San. Never come back? No. Well, what have I done? Oh, don't, Butterfly, please don't. She, same lady, as in picture? Yes. She come here with you? Yes, she is. She's my wife. Oh. Oh, I never dreamed you'd wait. They told me you'd forget and go back to your own people. I understand now. I beg pardon. I make such foolish mistakes. I'm so sorry. Um, no need to be sorry. On the contrary, I wish you be excessively happy with your wife. Isn't there anything I can do, Chocho Sam? Oh, no. Thank you very much. If you Excuse, please. I go inside now. Please to excuse me, little mistress. <laughs> but I hear silence for so long. I am afraid. He gone to the king. But he will come back. Not need wait anymore yes. for him to come back. He gone for always. He gone for always. With the lady in the picture. 
Hey, go back to her. She is voice now. Oh, little man, little man. You wait so long to see your honorable father. And when he comes, I'm not even telling him about you. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think you never can be joy to him now. Only trouble. Your papa, he's so fine, so beautiful, man. We want he should be happy for always. Is it not so, my son? So please forgive if I disappoint you very much and not introduce you to your illustrious father. <laughs> Look how his little hands grasp your father's sword. Already he is samurai. It is better so, perhaps. Better for him now. Better for you, always. May you hold this sword proudly when you are a man. May the law of the samurai be written in your heart. Take the child to my grandfather's heart. He shall be brought up in the way of his ancestors. But you cannot stay here alone. I will follow soon. Tell my grandfather I remain only long enough to pray to the goddess Kanan that she may purify my heart. I will tell him. Suzuki, I'm so sorry I take you away from happy geisha heart. I only make you sad. May the God smile on you, my son. Go now. Wash me clean of all my impurity, O Kana, as one washes away uncleanliness in the river Kamo. He say, till death to us part.
I love you. For always.